what's up people it's me again and apparently I'm back again to make a video because the last video I just made about the dumb hoe that blamed men for her being a hoe you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say her name now since she wanna put my name in post. Cause that's how I ended up saying her name last time cause she put my name in post. I never say her name first. People speculate who the fuck I'm talking about. They might even halfway know. But I never just say her fucking name. She just feels like the shit always fits her because that's what hoes do. When you say some shit out loud, the hit dog hollers. When you throw, you know, you throw a rock, the hit dog hollers, some shit like that. Well, that's what she do. You talk about a hoe in a crowd of a room full of women, the hoes get upset. And the hoes feel like you're automatically talking about them even though you know shit about them. So that's what she is. But Aaron Smith, you. You made a post and it got back to me because obviously you wanted to get back to me. That's why you say my name in it. It's like you made the last one and said my name in it. Didn't get upset because I make videos like this. Well, your video didn't really make me feel bad, make me look bad. You said I inbox hoes. Okay, I am a man. I do see hoes every now and then and I have inboxed them every now and then to have sex with them. You got me. My bad. Woo. Thank you. Now, you are one of the ones on the receiving end, though. People invite you to fuck you, and it happens a lot. You know, so I guess you winning like that. In your eyes, you winning. As a, as a, as a bitch, you winning for niggas be sticking their dick in you. But what you try to do is what a lot of hoes try to do. When hoes can't really make the nigga look bad, besides trying to call the nigga ugly or whatnot, because that's all hoes do this shit, because all hoes feel like they pretty because niggas fucking them, and in their eyes, they mean they pretty because they're about to fucking them. So what they try to do is try to say, they try to talk about other people around the dude who they talking about. In this case, you brought up my chick. You say my chick, uh, humping girls around here. My chick ain't married. My chick just a baby mama. All right, let's, let's hit those three things right there. Now, my chick just a baby mama. She's not married. Okay, I have to say that really in all actuality, it's accurate. You know what I'm saying? She's not married right now. So that would probably make her a baby mama. So she's a baby mama of one. One kid, my son. Live with me in my roof every day. Feed him. I take care of him. No child support issues. None of that things right there. No custody battles. No post blasting anyone. One child. She's 29 years old. 29. One child. Five years old. Soon to be six. Now, you. Down to 40. At least three kids. Down to 40. At least three kids. Are you married? And if you are married, are you really just married? Or you just been separated for a long time because no one signed the papers? Because when you call somebody out for being married and being a baby mom, you have to have validation that you're opposite of it. You know, I'm not going to talk about niggas who work and have good jobs if I work and have a good job I'm not gonna make them try to look bad for having a good job I'm gonna talk about the nigga that's unemployed because we different so for you to talk about her saying that she's a baby mama she's not married you obviously have to be neither one you have to be married and your family unit has to be one your kids from all the you know from the dudes you had sex with have to be married to you and be in the life of their kids and it don't look like that's happening that's just what it don't look like. I might be wrong. You tell me. Another thing you brought up is this. You brought up her humping girls. Okay. At one point in time, she was an open bisexual. I don't think she's done now. You know, you can't put nothing past anybody. But I don't think she's done any of these acts in the past, I say, three years, maybe. Two, three years, maybe. You know what I'm saying? You have to ask her. Because she gave you a phone number. You don't want to call her. She just wanted to try to make posts about it. I guess to try to make her feel bad. Which you're not going to make her feel bad. Because you're going off speculation. But let's go off facts. Say she's humping girls. You the one running around here with a Shreveport porn. Getting digged down by one man with three holes. All y'all licking on each other. With a hole holding the camera. And instead of you being mad at the bitch with the camera. That showed everybody else. You want to get mad at me for making a post about it. That's how dumb hoes think. You got three bitches in the room and a nigga slanking dick and all y'all while y'all licking and fucking each other. But instead of you getting mad at them for the video getting out, you want to get mad at me for talking about it. Remember, she's 29. You're down there 40. She has one kid. You have three, at least. So, I guess it's good for you to say that she's running around humping girls when you run around here humping girls and it's obvious. Like I said, this video's out with you on it. And y'all send each other's pictures in the inbox all the damn time. You and all these other hoes on Facebook send naked pictures to each other all the damn time. You have group pages 
and groups and shit like that, you know, hidden, not from public, because you don't want everybody in the world to know. You got your little secret groups while y'all hoes get in there and mingle about fucking each other and sucking and dick and all this shit right there. At 40 years old, a mother of three, at least. Aaron, what do you work at? Because you talk, like I said, once again, you want to make everybody feel bad. What do you work at? What do you do? How you make your fucking money? You just lie on your back and wait for the nigga to send in the check. He come in and fuck you every now and then and make sure the bill's paid. That's how you work. That's how you make it. That's your retirement plan. That's what you do. What you gonna do? Kill him off once the kids are grown and he's done fucking you? Huh? What are you a slave to his dick? He gets to fuck you and you make sure you get paid. That's prostitution last time I checked. When you get a check for getting fucked. But you know, you modern day hoes try to make it seem like that's just what how it's supposed to go down. Like I said, before you make a video, I mean, I make a post about me, have some real facts. You know what I'm saying? If, if your only thing against me is to say that I'm ugly, which, like I said, y'all all think y'all look good because y'all getting dick. Because, like I said, dick to a woman is the equality of a woman that has it has beauty beyond, beyond imagination. You know what I'm saying? Because every nigga tell you you look good because they supposed to, to tell you they fuck fucked you. That's why y'all don't like me because I tell y'all the truth. But the niggas who sit there and clap for you and thumbs up your post, Y'all fuck them. You know what I'm saying? You might charge them a little money because that's what prostitutes do. You might don't call it prostitution. You call it whatever you want to call it. You might want to call it tricking or whatever, but it's prostitution. That's what it really is. Go look at the definition. Fucking, fuss, you know what I'm saying? Having sex for money. It's prostitution. So, you want me to feel bad about that? Then okay. Like I said, you have no job. You're down to 40. With three, at least three kids. You ain't going to make me feel bad with shit that you say about me. Buying my house, buying my house. My cars are paid for by me. Every, everything that comes in the mail has my name on it, mine. I don't have to fuck anybody to get any fucking thing as a man. And if you're the real independent bitch, like you said in your last post, you wouldn't have to fuck anybody to get anything either. But most of y'all bitches that use independent feel like you're independent because you have a house that's paid for by someone else, not named you. So before you come for me, make sure you come for me with some real shit. Because that weak ass post you put up, if anything, my chick might take it, uh, take some uh, flag for it or whatnot, or try to make her look bad. But remember, she did her ex three years ago, which would have made her about 25, 28, I mean 27, around that uh, area. Between 25 to 27. You down there 40 with three kids still doing the same shit. Grow the fuck up. Get you a real fucking job and find you one man. They can take care of you because trying to make a woman feel bad for having one man ain't a good thing it don't look good on your part but that's what hoes do i expect hoes to do that shit you have one man that ain't marry you i got all the niggas who fuck me and give me money and y'all eyes is hoes that's uh, that that makes sense everybody on my end eats we know that we gonna get money we don't have to fuck tomorrow to see if we gonna have some food on the table we don't have to fuck tomorrow to make sure our bills paid you know what i'm saying that's all I have to say to you. I'm going to make another video about the rest of these hoes. And as far as that other hoe, I don't know why anybody attain, uh, entertains her. She's 40 years old with at least four or five kids twerking in fucking barber shops. 40 years old in, 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 in Hey Bay Bay videos against, up against Hurricane Chris. Hurricane Chris had to be about 11 and a half in that video. And you 40 years old all up in his face dancing up on him, twerking and shit. Why anybody pay this bitch attention on Facebook? Why does any man or any bitch feel like this? she has any kind of credibility at 40 years old with four or five kids twerking on 15 year olds in videos and in barbershops and shit? Y'all hoes, but this, this report, Ratchet City, and in Shreveport, this shit makes sense to y'all. I know I'm gonna catch some old flag off this shit. I don't give a fuck because I like the niggas you fucking. I tell you the truth. They lie, get the pussy, and might hand you a couple of dollars because they make a lot of money a week and they give you a couple hundred dollars and you, somehow you feel like you won. Y'all some dumb bitches. I'm out.